Morphogen gradients are involved in a diverse range of developmental events. This is a summary video of how morphogen gradients interact in wing patterning. Drosophila melanogaster, or the fruit fly, is the model organism we have chosen to explain this phenomenon. The Drosophila wing has been highly studied in developmental biology. As you can see, the wing has an intricate design, structure and function. Just to give you some context on Drosophila development, here is a schematic representation of stages of its development from embryonic state to adulthood. Firstly, the egg is fertilized, followed by pupation, growth, metamorphosis and adulthood. The mechanism of wing pattern formation through segmentation and polarization primarily occurs in the earlier stages of development, specifically during pupation and growth. This patterning mechanism occurs in the wing imaginal disc, a sac of cells that will eventually form the wing of the Drosophila. Let us proceed to answer the main question here. How does the Drosophila wing imaginal disc transition from a sac of cells to a patterned flat wing? To answer this, we must first have a look at the four different morphogen gradients that contribute to wing patterning as a whole. The first of the four morphogens is engrailed. Engrailed is expressed on the posterior compartment of the imaginal disc. Drosophila hedgehog is a secreted morphogen responsible for both short-range and long-range paracrine signaling in the development processes of growth, patterning and morphogenesis. It is expressed from posterior to anterior ends of the disc. Decapentaplegic is expressed in a strip in the medial section and gradually scatters outwardly towards the anterior and posterior compartments of the disc. Wingless is secreted in the dorsoventral margin of the disc. The formation of a wingless morphogen gradient follows the process of restricted diffusion and endocytosis. Notch and apterous signaling is also implicated in this mechanism. These four morphogen gradients form the anterior and posterior, ventral and dorsal, and proximal and distal compartments of the Drosophila wing. These four morphogen gradients also regulate each other's expression through a cascade of signaling mechanisms. Genes further downstream that originate from these pathways code for different signaling molecules. This ultimately results in the expression of genes that form the patterns you see on the Drosophila wings. Additionally, variable gene expression dictates the size and morphogenesis of the wings. 